Professor Fukao, what is your assessment of the recent moves of the Bank of Japan? Uh, I, Bank of Japan is uh, now setting inflation target at 2% instead of 1%. And they, they said that they are going to achieve it uh, in as soon as possible. But uh, what they have uh, announced in terms of the actual market operations is about the same as uh, they have been doing. So I would say that financial market has been disappointed by the move, just rhetoric and changing the target inflation rate, but the actual policy intervention, I mean market, open market operation has not changed much. So the only reason why market has not reacted more badly is because the government are going to appoint governor and the two vice governors uh, in, uh, in, in in uh, March and April. So uh, market still uh, expect something out of say new governor and uh, two vice governors. The Bank of Japan changed its monetary policy stance following very strong demands by the uh, new um, Prime Minister, Japanese Prime Minister, and um, this has now been very heavily criticized by the German Central Bank President uh, Jens Weidmann, who sees a real danger of uh, an undermining of the independence of central banking across the globe. Do you share this view? I, I agree with, with uh, the Bundesbank uh, view that uh, this is a bad precedent for the Bank of Japan and uh, the role of Bank of Japan should play. If the bank uh, uh, would accept any policy changes demanded by politicians, then political cycle would be generated. The Bank of Japan made two big errors in the past. First time in the early 70s when uh, Yen uh, moved from pegged rate system to floating rate system uh, because government feared that uh, uh, the, the appreciation of the Yen would have a big, big negative effect on the economy. They pushed the Bank of Japan to expand demand to increase imports. And uh, we have a very rapid inflation. And also, in mid-1980s, uh, we had a so-called Plaza Accord and Rubra Accord. And at that time, in order to uh, uh, stop the appreciation of the yen, uh, the Bank of Japan was asked to keep very low interest rate for a long time. And that created a big inflation in asset prices, so real estate bubble and the stock market bubble were, were created by the aftermath of uh, uh, Plaza and Ruble agreement, especially after the Ruble agreement.